Guys, today I'm showing you how I'm saving a ton of money as well as just an incredible amount of hard drive space. And I mean terabytes and terabytes of hard drive space. If you are somebody like me that shoots a lot of video, has a lot of B-roll and footage and just has it sitting on hard drives. And yeah, it's just getting ridiculous at this point with these huge resolutions and high bit rate. It just adds up so quickly. So I'm gonna show you with just a couple bucks how you can take all that content, even the stuff that's sitting on hard drives and really shrink it down, saving you space and definitely saving you some money. This program is called One Wondershare and it has an amazing compression feature. You can take these files and in just a few minutes you can make them a fraction of the size with this crazy compression and it actually does not reduce the quality. That is the whole thing here. You are drastically reducing the file sizes and you are keeping the quality of your content. So yes, too good to be true. Let's find out. I'm going to show you right away here in this couple minute tutorial. Let's jump in. So diving in here, this is Wondershare UniConverter. This is a crazy program that lets you do an absolute ton of things, a lot of really cool things. It does utilize AI, but I wanna focus on one particular aspect of this software to save you just an incredible amount of space and yes, money. So let's dive in here and look at the compressor feature. What this can do for you is batch compress video and audio files without quality loss. Too good to be true? Well, I found out. And I wanna show you some of the results here. These are a couple of the videos that I threw in and just in a couple minutes drastically reduced the size. So first of all, let's have a look at the size comparisons and then I'll show you the quality difference between the before and the after. So to show you just how crazy this is, here are two folders here. These are my regular just exported videos from Premiere Pro. Now this one is four gigabytes. We've got one here, 6.13. Here's another one I threw in and this one is 6.61. So in this folder up here, we have compressed a few of them down. And to give you an idea, here's the same one here that started at 3.56 gigabytes. And here we have it after the compression at what? 194 megabytes. That is absolutely insane. Another example here, this one is 6.61 gigabytes. And in when it was compressed down, we are now sitting at 344 megabytes. <laughs> It's just incredible. So that's fine and dandy. It's a lot smaller, but what about the quality? Let's check that out. So here's one of my original videos and what I've done is overlaid the compressed file over top and what I'm doing is just cutting out the compressed, showing you the original back and forth in real time. Let me know down in the comments if you can see any discernible differences between these two video files. Because for me, it's basically the exact same incredible quality, but at a fraction of the size, which is just blowing my mind. Here's another shot, this time using a drone. And I did notice that the compression does kind of vary depending on what type of file you're shooting with. So in this case, the drone didn't quite reduce it as much as my full frame mirrorless, but still a pretty drastic difference. Once again, let me know if you can see any difference in the quality of these two video files. So like I said, I just wanted to cover the amazing compression software abilities of this program here. And that's just one of the little capabilities that it has. This thing is so many things, it's almost overwhelming. So if you are a video shooter, here is some of the video stuff that you can do. You can download stuff right off Instagram by throwing in a URL. You can compress it. You can use a screen recorder. You have a basic video editor in here. You can use AI to enhance your clips. There's a water remark remover, there is a subtitle editor, and you can merge multiple video and audio files into one. So pretty darn impressive. Let's check out the audio capabilities. It's got text to speech using AI, a vocal remover letting you separate vocals and background music, noise remover, voice changer, text to speech, it just goes on and on. So this is just a few of the capabilities of this incredible software. And yes, if you even do images, if you're a photographer, this thing has some image stuff as well. Now for me, this is definitely not gonna replace my original Photoshop, my Lightroom catalogs for editing, but for enhancing or recovering the odd photo here and there, I think it does a great job. Here's an example. The interface is very straightforward, just drag and drop. Here's the before, obviously an image that was struggling a little bit. And here is the after. Nothing else done, just drag and drop and analyze. That's what you get. 
So again, you can enhance your images, you can remove watermarks, you can even convert your images to different file types. You can remove backgrounds, you can make thumbnails with AI, and you can even make GIFs with it. So this thing, like I said, has just a ton of capabilities, so be sure to check it out. And I challenge you to find a software that can do this many things this well. So there you have it guys, let me know what you think about saving this much space on your hard drives without the quality loss. Technology is incredible. If you didn't want to pick it up, this very reasonable software, I will drop an affiliate link down below, guys. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. If you have any questions or comments regarding it, let me know down below. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.